What's up, gamers? Welcome to what I am going to be calling my Sunken Land tip series here. I'm going to be pumping out a ton of videos in order to help new players to the game, as well as players that have already played. I do have a main playthrough that I have already dumped 100 hours into. I'm going to show you a quick clip here. Now I am and will be continuing to stream my main world every night here on YouTube. Uh, if you don't want to miss out on epic adventures like this. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, what's happening? Make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notifications for my every night stream. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start out here. Um, more or less, this video is going to be pretty much introducing Sunken Land to new people, as well as uh, how to get started uh, right off the bat on your first island. Uh, so what we're going to do, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down into the water, and we are going to look for things like cars and scrap piles and loot and everything. You're going to want to, uh, the main majority of your loot right off the bat here is going to be from underwater. So we're going to run around, collect a bunch of stuff. Uh, we can get wood from these uh, wooden structures here, and I highly suggest you farm absolutely everything that you can get your hands on, uh, especially right off the bat, because all these materials are going to be awesome. Now, watch out for your hell, I mean your oxygen, obviously, because you don't want to run out of oxygen, but uh, you're going to keep just diving down and getting more and more and more stuff here. Uh, make sure you loot the, the dryers. The washer and dryers are going to have cloth in them. All of these little metal piles are obviously going to have scrap in them. Here's a dryer right here with cloth. Cloth is a pretty important material early on in the game. So make sure you get all those, as well as chop all these wooden structures. Uh, you don't instantly die when you run out of breath. You've got like a last chance to get up top. You lose health, but you don't die instantly. So uh, as long as you beat your health pull up top. Here's a refrigerator. It's going to have some good food and stuff in there for us to help us get started. Uh, and this is like a medical cabinet. We get pills out of here, which is probably one of the best things to have for uh, health recovery. Now, you are going to get a lot of clothing pieces, which mostly, you can see I can put this like weird corset apron on my dude, which is kind of silly looking, but uh, takes up one less inventory space for now. So uh, you're going to want to search in all the cracks and crevices. And then if you open your map, uh, which I will do here, you open your map. It tells me that I have 22% completed the Castaway Island. So there's a percentage marker on the map that will let you keep track of how much loot there is still available on the map itself. Now the only loot that actually respawns, as far as I could tell, is trees and vegetables and stuff you're going to find, you know, on the island and, and obviously like crabs and stuff like that but i do believe that these scrap piles and cars and refrigerators and all that stuff does not respawn so make sure whatever material you do gather you use it uh wisely because you know eventually i'm assuming eventually you will uh run out of scrap now like i said i'm 100 hours in and i've still got 16 uh pois to go through so, yeah, it's not like there's a shortage of material, but, oh yeah, I forgot we don't have a super backpack either, so we're going to go ahead and take uh, what we've got here, and we're going to set up a little outpost. Um, yeah, we'll set up a little outpost here on Castaway Island, we'll pick a little flat spot, uh, maybe get rid of this tree here. Actually, you know what, I need, uh, alright, so we're going to start off with just a wood structure, okay? Gonna get your little wood structure built. We do need a little bit more wood. That's fine. We got this here. Now there's an absolutely insane amount of awesome building things you can build in this game as well as craftable items. 
uh, you can actually craft a research bench. And uh, there's four different tiers currently of research that you can do. And they're all pretty awesome stuff here. So we're going to just build a wooden structure for now. Um, let me pick this up here, get this last bit of wood. Um, so the first thing, the first tip I'm going to give you is that when you're building a storage, you're going to want to build metal barrels because metal barrels can hold the most, can hold the most items as well as here. We're actually going to go ahead and eat one of these sodas and, uh, food here. So metal barrels have the biggest inventory of, of anything else on this list of things. So that's a big tip. Don't waste your time making wooden chests or metal chests or or safes, especially. Uh, you'll be able to unlock a safe at some point. Don't waste your time with the safe because it only has like 10 items. The The perk to having the safe is it has, a, it has a higher durability, so it won't get broken when you get raided. But we can run around the island. We can pick up uh, mushrooms and strawberries here uh, and pretty much go through and harvest all of the wood if we wanted to. Now, there's no huge perk to getting uh, strawberries other than that just recovers just a little bit of health. Let's uh, get the rest of this. Here we go. Get some more food. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw up walls here. Um, let's see. Just going to throw up some little easy-peasy walls. Nothing crazy. Grab some more wood. Now, you will be able to uh, put down planters, and from chopping trees, you'll get these bush seeds. And more or less, you can replant the bush seeds and the planters. And uh, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna check out a video, I have kind of a video I did yesterday. I'll try and uh, put the link down in the description uh, for pretty much what it looks like whenever you have a whole garden full of planters that have uh, bushes in them. All right, here we go. We got a little bit more wood. Finish up these walls real fast. So the way I think I'm gonna break this series up, I know it's a little probably late to talk about this, but. Uh, uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video for each individual island, showcasing the loot and stuff you can get from each island. I'm also going to do some tip videos and stuff like that. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, what we're going to end up doing. Let me grab some more of this uh, scrap here. Now, we're going to want to look at what it's going to require us to build this research table. So four components. Uh, I do have six already, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this rubber ducky in here. Um, I do have the stuff I need to make the research table, so we can go ahead and put that down and start looking into things like the fishnet here, which is going to be a huge benefit. This fishnet is humongous as far as, uh, things you can build into first. Um, so let's go ahead and get, uh, some rope made from this cloth and research the fishnet. Now we can go ahead and make, I believe, one fish net thing, uh, right here. Oh, no, I need components. Okay, so we need more components and three rope. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we can turn the cloth into rope. Uh, obviously, we don't have a lot of cloth right now, but we can go down and finish uh, finish gathering up some things. So we're going to do that, and then I will be right back with my earnings here. All right, so now that we're back at the house, we filled our bag up here. Uh, we are going to drop down at least one more uh, metal barrel here so that we have a little bit more storage. Uh, because we are filling up fairly quickly. You can see there's lots of loot to be had in this game for sure. Uh, but we're going to look into um, crafting, like I said originally, some some of these fishnets. Uh, so did we get some more components and some more cloth? We did get more components and cloth. All right, we got a little bit of cloth there as well. We're going to go ahead and uh, eat and drink another food can and soda. Put those back. All right, we're going to craft a couple ropes here. All right, we've got two rope now, three ropes, so we can get our first fishnet crafted uh, right here. We're just going to throw it in the water. And then while this is uh, catching fish, we are also going to be, um, let's see here, where can I put it? Right there. All right, so that's going to be able to catch three fish for us, uh, which far outweighs fishing in the game. Fishing's fun, obviously, and it's pretty cool, but it takes quite a while to catch one fish, let alone that thing passively catches three for us. Uh, so we are going to want to build a bed, but unfortunately, I think we just used all of our cloth to to uh, turn it into rope. So we're going to need to find one more cloth. So we're going to be looking for cars, uh, dryers and such, things like that. Um, I do believe, and I will let you know as well, that there is a structure that is very deep down here. Um, we are headed to the northeast section of, uh, Castaway Island. 
and there is a safe down here that contains the blueprint for a motorboat. Um, I know it's a little hard to see right now, but there's a safe right here uh, that's going to contain the blueprint for the motorboat. I've already actually unlocked it, but I also knew that there was a dryer down here to get more cloth so that we can make our thing. Now it is quite a trek all the way back up to the top. Hopefully we can make it without drowning. Oh, globe, 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 globe. Come on, we can do it. I can't see anything, but I think we're close to the top. Come on, don't die. All right, we're good. We're good. So now we can make a bed, which is going to be beneficial so we can sleep. Uh, now, one thing about the game is it is on a set 12 hour sleep schedule. So no matter what time you sleep, you're going to wake up 12 hours later. I think maybe it's only eight. Maybe it's eight hours. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's eight hours. Uh, matter of fact, we'll just test it right now just to see. But what I'm trying to get out here is uh, you will get stuck in a bad rotation of sleeping if you... Uh, yeah, if you sleep. So it was 1800 and to 4 o'clock. So yeah, it is 8 hours exactly. Um, it is pretty tough to see at night. So you can craft yourself a torch. Um, there we go. And we can also go to build in the bottom lighting thing here. We can craft uh, lanterns and such like that. So if we had another wood and two more scrap, we can make a little standing lantern here. Uh, let's see here. We can go ahead and go to build, lighting, and standing torch there. And here... And there, maybe one in each uh, little corner here, uh, and that will that will lighten things up for us a little bit, so we can see a little bit here. So the next thing we're gonna want to do is probably make some sort of weapon. Okay, uh, we're still shy on cloth, like I mentioned in the beginning of the game or in the beginning of the video. Um, cloth is a huge factor, and unfortunately, you can't uh, you can't like unravel these clothing and the cloth which i think is somewhat of a silly thing but maybe that's a feature coming uh in the future here so um we are we do need to go ahead and eat one of our can of food and soda here there we go get our health a little bit more topped off put that stuff back away uh now once now that we've placed a bed the potential for getting raided by npcs has either risen or activated one of the two uh so we have to start thinking about some type of defense um we can't do much right now like i said we want to look into making a a weapon um at the least we can make this wooden spear and a good idea too um is you can get upgraded backpacks but you need i believe uh let's see here i believe it's on this table um where is the backpack pattern at sack right here so sack is going to be our first backpack increase our next backpack after that, as well as this uh, diving fins, this is something you also want to get. Moral of the story is, make a spear um, and go kill some marlins. Now, the marlins don't fight back. The shark is the only thing that you really have to worry about at the moment. But until you go to the mansion, which I believe is maybe this question mark here, uh, you don't really have to worry too much about anything trying to kill you underwater. Oh, I just realized as well, we have to, uh, we have to make the grill in order to uh, cook our food, so gonna grab some scrap out of here i know we've got a bunch and it's also a good idea uh to make a few grills because it does take quite a little while to uh to craft the foods but we're gonna make three of these at least uh so that way we can cook our three that way we can cook our three uh fish when they get done you know cooking um i do currently have a crab so i'm gonna go ahead and fill some fill this guy up and throw the crab on uh, but I'm going to go harvest some more wood real fast. Uh, that way we can fill them all the way up and we'll go from there. I do believe we can actually craft this crude axe. I'm not sure if I have the cloth to do it. Once again, like I said, cloth is a huge, a huge part of the game, especially early game. Later game, it's not that hard of a, th hard of a thing to come across. Uh, but definitely early game, you need as much cloth as you can get. So make sure you're looting all the cars and the washer and dryers and all that good stuff. All right, um, and actually, I want to check my completion rate here. So we still got 27% left to get to loot around Castaway Island. And that includes uh, ore, that includes scavenge, uh, you know, metal junk, like scrap metal piles and trash cans and chopping the little wood structures inside of everything. So make sure when you're looting, you actually get everything, even if it is just a dresser uh, or a couch or something like that. Make sure you harvest it so it takes your percentage away because ultimately i would assume you would want to 100 percent every little island uh, so that way you don't miss any findable blueprints or other th things along those lines 
All right, one real quick tip as well. You're going to look in the distance. You're going to see this structure. That structure is actually the shop. So any items you find that have a yellow dollar sign on them, so if we come back to our loot here, we see this diamond ring. It has a yellow dollar sign on it. Uh, you hover over it, it tells you value 150. You, that's the kind of stuff you can trade at the shop for upgraded uh, things, items, blueprints, electronics, and stuff like that later on in the game. So that is uh, the shop over there. So make sure you go check that out. Another thing we want to build and do not do it. So listen closely here. The paddle boat, don't even waste your time. Save up for the wooden sailboat because the wooden sailboat is super fast. And we I know we just unlocked the motorboat um, pattern to craft the motorboat as well. But honestly, the motorboat is slower than the sailboat. I don't know why that is, but it is. So make sure you're harvesting the material you need to get the sailboat up and running. All right, and we do now have a lot of wood to go ahead and fill up uh, all this stuff. You just smash the smash the C button as fast as you can there. Uh, we are going to go ahead, since we placed this before nighttime, uh, this should have some fish in it. So it does have one fish, actually. And I see another crab, so I'm going to go ahead and poke him around a little bit. And we're also going to go um, get some marlins so that we can get the skin so we can make the flippers. Because anything you can do to benefit you underwater, uh, those flippers help your swim speed drastically. Uh, so I'm trying to remember where the mansion is so you guys could uh, steer clear of it for the shark until you get like a scrap metal spear or something like that made up. Uh, the sharks really aren't too intimidating, but they, they will hurt you a little bit. And regaining health in the game is, is pretty difficult sometimes, so you want to try and not waste your time too much with that. But with these guys, all you got to do is poke them, sit in the middle of them. Uh, you obviously have to have some energy, which I don't have right now. Wait for my energy bar to refill all the way back up and start stabbing. You can literally just stand in the middle of them, and they'll all eventually come back around to you. Uh, you're just going to want to stand in here and poke, poke, poke until you get them dead. Watch your watch your, uh, watch your, your health or your oxygen. But really, honestly, nothing crazy here. Just kind of farming. It will take you quite a bit of pokes. Got to go up and get it, get some air. Come back down. They don't they don't regain health as far as I know. You, you kind of do damage to them and their health just kind of stays where it's at. Uh, let's see here. All right, there's one. You got one dead. All right, there's the other guy. And last guy. If we can actually time it correctly there we go so now we've got some marlin skin and some large fish meat which is going to be uh nice for getting some food in our tummy here but now we can craft those flippers and i think i'll go ahead and wrap it up there but hopefully this will get you started in the game and uh yeah hopefully uh help you start out and like i said make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification bells on uh because i am going to be pumping out quite a bit of content for this game as well as starfield here in the coming days so yeah man thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and we'll see you later peace out